You know, that guy, he also works for that show, Trafficked. So Really? Yeah, yeah. I didn't he, know that. He, yeah, Mariana Van Zeller took yeah. him in the jungles of Colombia where they grow and manufacture cocaine. Jeez. And, yeah, so he's I've filming seen that show. There. Yeah, I've seen a bunch of, bunch of episodes of that show. So that dude has been on some of the most insane adventures ever. Yeah. To go from riding a grizzly bear's back to packing out cocaine with <laughs> mules. These these you know drug mules yeah. that are taking it in backpacks through the jungle. I can't the, imagine how like high intensity that moment was. Jesus like to, like to be like to know that these people could just like shoot you because they want to or because moment. they have to. Right. Yeah, because someone comes along and catches them and they're interacting right. with reporters and they just say right. you're going to kill these fucking people in front of us. Yeah. Jesus, dude. Yeah. That's a whole another kind of stress, dude. That I don't want to be a part of um, mariana is a gangster that lady's been doing that boots on the ground type dangerous journalism for fucking years i found out about her because of the uh, documentary they did on vanguard called the oxycontin express they yeah. detailed those pain clinics they had in florida right and how they would sell Remember people oxys and mm -hmm. there was no database yep. so you could go from one pain clinic to the next yep. pain clinic and just stack up thousands of pills that's wild. And then they would just drive up the coast, drive yep. up Florida, rather, into the northern states and sell them. And that was the Oxycontin Express. Dude, how do you get in? Like, how, like that's got to be such a specific, like, sect of, like, humanity that wants to, like, get into that kind of journalism, right? Yeah, you got to be very, like, very, very brave. Yeah, it's not like, that's not, you're not reading the morning news, dude. No. That's not, that's not scratching the itch for you. No, you know? she's trying to figure things out and then expose people to information that's otherwise unavailable. You know, she, she found that there was L.A. cops that were selling drugs to the Mexican cartel, excuse me, they were selling guns to the Mexican cartels. So they would confiscate guns from criminals and then they would fill up a trunk with AKs and ARs and pistols and then they would drive to Mexico because to get into Mexico is easy. Coming right. to America is where it's difficult and they right. check you. But get into Mexico, you just drive right through. So they were driving right through with trunkfuls of confiscated weapons and they would deliver them to the cartels. Wow, dude. That's it's, it's just hard to believe that that kind of stuff happens. It's happening right now. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, it she said it happens all the time, and that's the main way they acquire weapons. That's yeah. wild, man. It's crazy. Fucking cops. Yeah. The world's crazy, man. It's a crazy place, dude. You know? Yeah. It's wild that we think about all the different things, the conflicts that are happening overseas, when one of the most wild conflicts is happening right south of our border. Yeah. And, you know, you could literally walk over there. Yeah. Um, you, you, I'm sure you heard about those folks that got killed. Where the these people went down there, I think I think the story is one of the women went over there for plastic surgery. I think she went over there. They crossed the border. I think she's getting a butt lift or something because it's like cheaper in Mexico. Right. And they got mistaken for a rival cartel. They got mistaken for some sort of rival drug dealers or something, and they killed oh, two of them. And they kidnapped these Americans and killed two of them. Jeez, dude. Yeah. That's that's crazy, That's a real man. recent story. Here it is. How a trip to Mexico for cosmetic surgery turned deadly for U.S. quartet. Deaths of two of four Americans kidnapped at Matamoros pl uh, place spotlight on cartels' impunity and on medical tourism. Jesus Christ. Dude, that is wild, man. Fucking crazy. Yeah. It's so really they came from wild. Lake City, South Carolina to Matamoros, uh... Tamal, Tamalapas, just south of the U.S.-Mexico frontier. They arrived in the border city on the 3rd of March, but never made it to the clinic. Members of a violent drug cartel that controls the area mistook the group of Americans as rival traffickers, killed two of them, and kidnapped McGee and one of her friends. McGee and Eric Williams were rescued within days, and the bodies of her cousin, Shahid Woodward and friend Zindel Brown were later repatriated. On Thursday, five men who allegedly carried out the attack were dumped on a Matamora street along with a surreal letter of apology purportedly from the Gulf Cartel. We ask the public to be calm, the letter said in Spanish. We are committed that the mistakes caused by indiscipline won't be repeated and that those responsible pay no matter who they are. Fuck, man. That's man. wild, dude. 
Yeah, I mean, that's wild stuff, dude. Yeah. It's it's a sketchy place, man, and it's it's fueled by the fact that drugs are illegal. That's what's crazy. It's like the, our idea that we're gonna you know keep people safe by making drugs illegal is propping up an illegal enterprise worth untold billions of dollars right. just south massive of us. Massive amounts, dude. Massive amounts of money. Like you can't even process how much money no. it is. It's crazy. You know. Yeah, and it's also responsible for the fentanyl deaths of 100,000 people a year. It's like, pff, fucking A, man. Crazy times, man. Yeah. It really is, man. I've always wanted to go to Mexico to hunt because, uh, you know, in Sonora. Yeah, like coos have, deer yeah, and stuff coos, like that. And, and a giant mule deer. Yeah. They have giant mule deer south of the border. Really? Yeah, huge, huh. huge. Never <clears throat> seen the mule deer in Mexico? Mm -mm. See like if I you just Google giant mule deer in Mexico. Yeah, people go, a buddy of mine just went over there and shot a fucking monster and he said i don't know if i'm going back again he said uh, we had to meet members of the cartel and we we pulled up to this place and these dudes look at the size of these mule deer i mean oh goodness yeah look at these things and uh it's all in the in the desert of mexico it's like one of the most known places for enormous mule deer in sonora which is interesting right because they have these tiny little coos deer and then they have these, and then these oh, look at that one. Goodness. Yeah. Click on that one, Jamie. Yeah, that one right there. Look at that fuck. Good night, dude. I mean, that's hard monstrous, to believe, monstrous mule deer. That's like semi-elk, dude. You're mm -hmm. like getting into elk territory yeah. with that. You know what I mean? And it's the, the territory is gorgeous, and it's like the landscape is beautiful. But, you know, you might pass some dudes that are, you know, parked in front of a G-Wagon with, you know, AKs hanging from their shoulders. And you're like, oh, my God. And then they ask you questions and talk to you, right. and you're like, oh, fuck. Yeah. And they just might kidnap you. God, that'd be real scary. Yeah, I mean, most of the time they leave those people alone because there's a lot of revenue and tourism, and they don't want to fuck that up, and they also don't want to bring heat down on them, which right. is what happened when these Americans got kidnapped. All of a sudden, the right. world is aware, and that can be very dangerous for them. Yeah, but I think them dropping those five goss off on the streets probably going to squash it. You know, <sighs> as weird as that is, it's crazy, man. It's crazy stuff, man. It, it's just. And like again, it's just hard to believe that that stuff's going on right you know? now, right there, <clears throat> and Somewhere, it's on the right. same land mass, yeah, as America. Yeah. That's what's crazy. The yeah. same, lit literally, just further down south in Texas, it's like, happening right closer, there. Closer, like it's closer to where we're at right now than I was this morning from where we're at right now. Yeah, isn't that you crazy? Know? It's yeah. like I live in Nashville, Tennessee. Yeah. You know. But just some invisible border that we created decided <sighs> yeah. this is the line of lawlessness. 